Baking TV. Welcome to another episode. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my channel. All of the above. Today on Mrs. D's Baking TV, we are going to be making donuts. That's right. Donuts. So I received these pans as a gift from my wonderful sons. And so I thought, guys, I got to use them. Got to make some donuts. So follow along today as we make some delicious donuts. Now, some of these donuts I am going to top with a traditional glaze. And then I'm going to add a little pizzazz to some of them. I'm going to put a little sprinkles on them and just, you know, jazz them up just a little bit. But I am so excited about this recipe. Why are you so excited, Mrs. D? Because I've never made homemade donuts before and I'm choosing to do it for the first time in front of you guys. Actually, if you've watched my channel before, you know that I, that's what I like to do. That's my thing. I like to try recipes for the first time on camera in front of you guys. So if this goes haywire and they don't come out right, I'm still going to film it. But so far, guys, I have been blessed. So far, I haven't had that to happen where something that I did on camera, I wasn't able to use the footage or, you know, chunked it out or had to redo it. So far, every video that I have filmed for you guys, I've been able to use it and show you guys how a at-home baker with just a little bit of knowledge can read a recipe and come out with some delicious bakes. So follow along today as we make donuts. Why am I dancing already? And we're not doing the taste test. I don't know. I do know because I love to dance. I do. I love to dance. I love to dance. I love to dance. Some of the gadgets that you're going to need in order to prepare your donuts, I forgot to show you. You're definitely going to need a whisk. You're going to need a bowl in order to mix all of your ingredients in. Now, this particular recipe that I'm following says that it's going to be easy to put your donut uh, mix into your donut pans with pastry bags. So I may not use these, but I got them on hand just in case. You are also going to need a baking spray in order to spray your donut pans. You'll need a wire rack and you'll need parchment paper under your wire rack when you get ready to glaze your donuts. So let's go ahead and get these donuts put together. So to our mixing bowl, we are going to add our flour, I always use all-purpose unbleached flour. So we're going to add our flour and all of the measurements and the ingredients for this entire recipe. The link actually will be listed in the description box because, guys, this is not my recipe. I'm not changing it up. I'm going to do it the first time that it's supposed to be done. And the next time I do it, I'll change it up and make it my own. So let's go ahead and add our sugar and our baking powder kind of stuck to the bowl. Oh, actually, this is our salt. <laughs> we'll add our salt and cinnamon and our baking powder. We'll add all that to the bowl and we'll go ahead on and just mix that together just a little bit. And then we will add together our wet ingredients. So we uh, have here our melted butter. I melted that beforehand. We've got a little milk. And today, guys, if you watch one of my previous videos, I got a boatload of vanilla extract on sale at Solar Table. And this is the Ugandan pure vanilla extract that we'll be using today. Yes, I'm excited. And we'll need an egg. So let's go ahead and mix all of our wet ingredients together. And then we'll blend that with our dry ingredients and we will have our mix ready to put our donuts in our baking pans and have donuts. Yay!
we're going to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. Mix that together, and guys, we're gonna have donuts in no time. Okay guys, and now we're gonna add our donut mix to our pastry bag, and then we will place our donuts in our prepared pans. We are going to bake our donuts in a preheated 350 degree oven. For approximately, I think our recipe says for 10 to 12 minutes. So let's go ahead and fold this bag. I'm gonna fold the bag down. I didn't put my hole in it yet. I'm gonna do that after I place my donut mix in my pastry bag. Oh yeah, I'm glad we decided to use these. I say we, as if you helped me to make that decision. I'm glad I decided to use the pastry bag. This is going to make it really easy to get the right amount of our dough into our uh, pans. There we go. Ta-da! No such thing as you can't figure something out the first time around. And that's our small countertop Brumville oven preheating. But I've got my thermostat in there just to make sure that my oven is at the right temperature. It doesn't matter if I'm using my large oven or my little countertop Brumville oven. I always keep my thermometers inside my oven because I want to make sure that I'm baking at the right temperature. Okay. And then let's go ahead and just cut the tip off the bottom there. See that? Using my kitchen shears to cut that off. Let's go ahead and cut the bottom off. Let's cut that in our bowl. Let's go ahead and cut the bottom off of our pastry bag. Whoa. <laughs> and go ahead and get these donut holes filled. And the recipe says not to overfill them, but I don't think that's enough. Let's add just a little bit more. And then we will make sure that we tap these on the counter to make sure that we've gotten all of our air bubbles out. We don't want to overfill them, but this is enough mix to make 12 donuts. Okay, and there we go. We've got all of our pans filled. And I am going to tap these on the counter. Just to make sure all the air bubbles are out. It looks like I could add just a little bit more. It looks like I can add just a little bit more to this one and possibly this one. Let's add a little bit more. And if they overfill, I've already sprayed the pan liberally. So if it goes over a little bit, it'll still pop out. So yeah, 
got still got a little bit left in the bag. Let's use this little bit. Because we don't want little teeny tiny donuts. We want nice fat donuts. There we go. Okay, and we are going to place these in our preheated 350 degree oven for 12 to 14 minutes. It depends on whether or not you are baking with gas or electric. I'm going to do 12 minutes and keep my eye on them. And of course, I will stick my little cake tester um, in into my uh, donuts just to make sure that they're ready. But they should spring back when they're ready if you don't have a cake tester. While we're waiting on our second batch of donuts to bake, we're going to go ahead and make the glaze. Now what you'll need for the glaze, you'll need uh, powdered sugar, which I've already sifted in this bowl. You'll need heavy whipping cream, you'll need salt, and you'll also need vanilla extract. Now today I am using my Nielsen Massey powdered vanilla extract because I want to keep my glaze as white as possible. I could have used like a food coloring that I did in a previous video, but I just decided I'm just gonna use just the vanilla because we're not decorating a cake. Oh, there's our timer. So our second batch of donuts are done. Let's get them out of the oven. According to our recipe, we need to let these cool in the pan for about 10 minutes. So we'll let these delicious donuts, well, we don't know if they're delicious yet. We're gonna let these cute little donuts cool in the pan for about 10 minutes on our baking rack before we add our glaze. And let me let you see what these look like. Now, this is the pan that I filled second. See how fat those donuts are? And this is the pan, this is the first pan that, that I did. They're just a little bit lighter and they're not as, um, they're not as fat, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see which one we like best. So to our mixing bowl, I am going to add this pre-sifted confectionery sugar. Now, I don't want this to fly all over me. So let's see if I could do this without all of this powdered sugar going everywhere. I got an idea. Ta-da! It worked. Okay, and we're gonna add our salt, our vanilla extract, and our heavy whipping cream. And we're gonna mix that all together. If you find when mixing your glaze together that it's too thick, you can always add just a little more of your heavy whipping cream. Interesting fact. I love chocolate, but I don't like chocolate donuts. That's a little thick. Yeah, look at that. that. That's a little too thick for me. So I'm going to add just a little bit more of our heavy whipping cream. Because we are going to dunk these. I'm not gonna pour this glaze over our donuts, we're going to dump them. Yeah, I think that's good. I don't want it too thin. And then I don't want to change the flavor. Speaking of flavor, I can't resist, guys. Mmm. That's good. It almost tastes like ice cream. That tastes good, guys. So let's let these donuts cool, and then let's decorate. And you know what's coming after that. Okay, so our donuts have cooled for 10 minutes. I am going to remove them. Oh, look at there. Look at our little cute donuts, guys. Look how cute. Okay, so, you know, this is, this is a learning phase for me. This is what I've learned, and I'm going to bring these up here so you can see. This is why the directions say don't overfill. See how cute and round this one is? And then this one's got a top on it like it's a muffin. Yeah, so I suggest that you not overfill. If you get these muffin tins, don't overfill them. Now on the bottom, oh, look at that. Perfect. But on the top, this one looks more like a muffin than a donut. 
yeah, nice and brown. I left this one in for 13 minutes and this one for 12. So that's the difference in the variation of why the color is different. So let's get glazing. Let's get to glazing. They smell delicious. I tell you what I smell more than anything is the cinnamon. <laughs> Definitely the cinnamon. This will be the first of many donuts that I try uh, to make because I love donuts. I, Krispy Kreme, Mary Lee, uh, individually owned bakery, it doesn't matter. I love donuts. But a baked donut is probably less calories than a fried donut. That, that's what I gather. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, I will definitely be using these pans again. So I've got my parchment paper placed under my cooling rack and we are going to dip, dip and decorate, dip and decorate, dip and decorate, hey, dip and decorate, dip and decorate, dip and decorate. Okay, y'all, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's dip and decorate. Okay, here we go. Those look delicious. Now let's add a little pizzazz. Got some little sprinkles here. Let me let you see what they look like. <laughs> look at our little donuts look how cute now you can't tell me that that's not cute okay okay you know what's coming up now taste test time okay i can't dance because i already danced taste test time that's boring taste test time yes i am going to try one of the just plain glaze without all the decorations i will share the decorated ones with the grandbaby all right here we go Honest opinion. Hmm. This tastes like a mini bunt cake <laughs> with donut icing. That's what it tastes like, guys. I taste some cinnamon. These were very easy to make. I will do them again. I probably won't try and duplicate this recipe because the cinnamon, it just reminds me of like a little mini bunt cake, um, but it's delicious. It's delicious. So guys, try making donuts. Instead of going to your local shop, try making them in your home yourself so that you know what ingredients are in them and they're not fried. So they can't, can't be that fat. But anyway, thank you so much guys for joining me today on Mrs. D's Baking TV, where we baked donuts there's no telling what i might try the next time that there's no telling but if there is a recipe that you would like me to try list it in the comments comments guys thank you to my new subscribers i've got new subscribers my numbers are increasing weekly and i'm so grateful i am so grateful i really am i'm so grateful so to all my new subscribers welcome do a um Go back and, um, what do you call it? When you um, go back and binge watch all my other uh, videos so that you can catch up with us. I release a video each week, one video per week, one bake per week on Wednesdays. 
unless we have a little glitch. But yes, I release a video once a week with something that I've never tried before and doing it in front of, in front of you guys for the first time. So thank you so much for, my mouth is watering guys. My mouth is literally watering because these donuts taste good. Thank you again for joining me on Mrs. D's Baking TV where we bake donuts and anything else that might be listed in the description box. There's no telling what I might bake, but thank you so much again for joining me. Be blessed. Be blessed. May the Lord God bless you real good. Bye.